So welcome ladies and gentlemen, it's Champions League time. That's uh, pretty much all we have left to play for after our season has gone down the swanee, hasn't it? It started off great, really did, and uh, yeah, it's just become tougher and tougher. I always knew it was going to be uh, very, very difficult to try and maintain what we were doing uh, with Atletico Madrid sort of nipping out our heels. But anyway, today we're taking on Inter Milan at the San Siro. That should be hopefully a good enticing matchup for you guys to watch. Uh, then the next episode we'll have Real Sociedad uh, obviously against Real Madrid. And then we're back playing Inter in the second leg. Now, depending on how the league goes, how we do, you know, these later matches may not even mean anything. Um, so we might just sort of skip past them. I don't know. We shall see. But the Champions League is in the back of my mind. That's what we're focusing on. And unfortunately today, there is a lot of players knackered. Um, I'm talking about stamina already a third of the way down. So, uh, we're going to have to bring Navas back into play. Katoir is on orange. Um, Militao, do we go for him? I mean, he didn't play bad in the last game. So, we have the option of playing Nacho otherwise. Uh, obviously, Nacho is probably the better player. Let's play Nacho today. So, we've got him and Varane. Uh, Odriozola on the right. Regulon on the left. Mar Marcelo is back, but he's also an orange. And he's also stamina's down. We're going to start Ceballos. I know he's gone to Arsenal, but we really need to play someone in there. I'm going to start Pogba as well as Felix. Tony Crows is down. Ziyech is down. Um, Casemiro is on green, but the stamina is still sort of a third of the way down. So I'll probably bring him on later, maybe. And then up top, we're going to go for Sun, Mariano, and Hazard. Once again, the stamina not in our favor today. But that's what happens when you play so many matches in a row. So there's a look at Inter. Certainly got some decent players. Uh, we just have to be careful about them coming forward and and play a little bit better than we have been playing, that's for sure. We're going to go for, uh, I think it's the one match today, we'll go for Superstar 12 minutes. And we'll dive right into this. So I hope you guys do enjoy it. Be sure to subscribe, hit the like button if you haven't already. And let's see how we do in this Champions League first leg quarterfinal. So you join us back in the Champions League as Inter Milan take on Real Madrid. It technically should be night time, but for some reason the sun took a while to set today. So we're kind of playing in the afternoon. But either way, there's a lot of quality about. It's the quarterfinals, it's the Champions League. And it's all coming up live next. So away we go. With Real Madrid attacking from your right to left. Inter Milan left to right in their traditional blue and black strip kit. And let's see how this one gets underway. Real Madrid have really gone down the pecking order. Knocked out of the Copa del Rey, of course, in that last game. There's an early chance with a header. Felix manages to pick it up and lays it off to Ceballos. Eden Hazard. And Mariano very well may be in there, and he nearly was. There's a little touch with the outside of the boot. Here's Baldi. He's got some pace, hasn't he? He's a player to watch. Cedric. Just feeding it inside. Delivered in towards the near post. Navas is equal to it with a fine piece of goalkeeping. And an early warning sign for Real Madrid there. That they have to stay alert. Felix. No Tony Crows today. A lot of players are missing. Marcelo's still out, not 100% himself. Here comes Eden Hazard. Tried to skip Park Ice, but lost possession. Martinez back to Brozovic. And Treva picks it up. And Real Madrid know all about the tough games. Of course, Monaco was that match that they somehow came from behind, didn't they? To win on penalties in the round of 16. It's not been easy for them. Good turn by Felix. Feeds it off. Hazard back towards Felix. The young boy full of quality. Nothing wrong with that challenge though. Will they keep it alive? They will, but it's out for the throw. Well, 
And it is important, isn't it, that Real Madrid get players forward and make the most of the chances that they have, not by giving the ball away there. Martinez, Baldic gets it back again, has a chance to hit it, lays it off instead. Varane tries to make the challenge. And Real Madrid just clearing their lines, but looking shaky. Gies will come across to possibly take the short one. He does, he's delivered in. And that's tidily held back to Navas. Ops to smash it clear. Looking for Hazard. Nice little touch by him to find Regulon. Mariano, who really did, you know, there was a spell, Mariano, where he was banging in the goals. He had a hat trick in one game, and, you know, it, it was like the flow was happening for him, but it's just tapered off. Real Madrid, you know, they're failing to create the chances that you would expect them to create. Nice bit of play here, though. And here, here is Felix. He does lay it through to Mariano, and that's probably a chance you would expect him to relish a little bit better. But much better there. A little bit of momentum, a bit of tempo, picked it up, fed through. It was on his weaker foot, but just pulled it too far. Well, we're still goalless, and there hasn't been a ton of chances. Question of whether Real Madrid will stick to this formation in the second half. We'll wait and see. As Paul Pogba goes down. Good challenge by Baldi there. Well, Baldi wins it back anyway. Real Madrid stick a foot in this time. It's Felix towards the middle. Pogba. Mariano. Lovely ball. Surely it's Hazard. But no. Didn't quite get enough venom on it. Great save by the goalie. Best chance of the game. And it's fallen to Eden Hazard. And maybe should have smashed it but he tried to place it Eden Hazard to take and he is going to fizz this one in looking for Pogba there comes back out to Ceballos Montrezola Pogba Felix nice little shot by him it's patient play here by Real Madrid Pogba Ball over the top. It's a lovely move. It's 1-0. Clinical stuff. And it's Ceballos of all players who gives Real Madrid the lead. And that huge away goal. But how well did they work this? And look at the pass from Paul Pogba. It was a give and go. This is perfection. Gets it down and slots it in. So into Milan, nil. Real Madrid won right before the break great time to score and so Bios is showing uh, the manager why he probably should play him more often the sun brings it forward it goes back to Handanovic and it looks like that will be half time Real Madrid have that important goal what's going to happen in the second half well 45 minutes left to find out Well, Real Madrid are going to keep the same formation. Icardi's come on. Well, hang on a minute here. Could have been an early chance for Inter, but they've brought on Icardi. So you feel like he will be more of a threat than the likes of Martinez. Mariano was trying to close down real quickly. Ball's fed inside. Nice little turn. And now Roger Zola's got to get back quickly. The ball is delivered in. There is Icardi, but very, very difficult. That's Real Madrid, 58% possession so far today. It did dominate the first half when it came to keeping the ball. There wasn't a ton of chances for either side, but Real Madrid scoring late thanks to Ceballos' great bit of interplay, though, but credit to Paul Pogba. Here is a chance, though, for Inter Milan! And once again, Navas, so good in goal. That's why Real Madrid, whether you have Coutoir in goal or... Navas, they both seem to do the business. Nice little move this by Real Madrid, but Asamo will get there first. Ahead of Sun. The ball's fizzed up the line. And there is Ceballos. And now Real Madrid can regain the ball. Sun. Pogba. It's Mariano. Ceballos to the outside of the boot. How's that for a delivery? Nearly found Regulon. I'm sure Luigi would have told the boys at halftime, look, we have a goal, we don't need another one. Obviously, it would be great to get that two-goal cushion. 
away from home but don't do anything silly keep the ball keep possession and just sort of work it forward you can see Inter though they are starting to close down now a little bit quicker they have to there is of course still the second leg to come Pompa Mariano Sun is going to play it decided against it and now you've got Felix Dinks it over the top. Once again, those balls are causing into all sorts of problems. And they'll take the corner here. Eden Hazard is going to absolutely launch this one. Sun has done well just to win that header. Real Madrid keep the ball once again. Ceballos. Regulon. Looking for Audrey Zola. Maybe it was a bit of a risky ball, but he's done well there. Sun. Lovely turn by him. He's done brilliantly well. It's Andrea Zola trying to just feed it back inside. Great play by the South Korean there, though. And now here comes Inter, and they've got players forward. And have a look at the back post, but well played, Rafael Varane. The game is really starting to open up here. Loose pass by Polper, unlike him today. The tempo's picked up as well. Ceballos Pogba Felix Hazard back towards Eden Hazard here decided against playing it back to Handanovic and now Inter Milan come forward odrizola has got to try and stay with his man it's a great ball up the line and suddenly they've been caught here is he going to hit it? yes he is but Navas once again he's too good today isn't he? absolute world class by him and now a chance to just swing it over the top. I'm sure Hazard's looking tired. But they'll take the throw and slow the game down. And a change for Inter. Nagland on for Mario. And Real Madrid's first couple of changes. It's Junior and Cavajal on for Regulon and Hazard. Well, it's not a surprise. We're seeing a few changes by Real Madrid. Played a lot of games recently. A lot of tired legs out there. Here is Sun, though, and he's lost possession. Brozovic. Icardi. Nangaland. Nice looking ball there. Are they going to feed it early? They are going to play it up the line. The ball's been fed, fed towards the back post. Baldi with a chance. And Real Madrid still can't get rid of it. And they've been punished. Oh, unlucky in their point of view. Because the ball took a huge deflection. And it was Icardi who just found this pocket of space, didn't he, behind the back line. No one was picking him up. Bit of confusion maybe by Real Madrid. There was the initial chance. Good challenge by Varane. And here, it was this little deflection that fell kindly for the forward. So we're back even at one apiece. And now Real Madrid will want to try and get that Leading goal once more. Andrea Zola, Sun. Pogba. I think it's into how I have a lot of players behind the ball. They've done a much better job this second half. Of just getting players forward. But here is a chance for Junior. He's got the freshest legs on the field. And he's got exceptional pace. And he cuts back inside. It's Junior! Went to place it, but Handanovic was equal to it. And you feel like that's what Real Madrid have to do now. Look for the young boy. He's got the legs as we've seen it already. He didn't have much on. It was a, a pretty routine save. Well, plenty of players in there. And it's going to be Junior to fizz it in. So Bios picks it up. And he's got a free strike on goal. It wasn't a bad effort. And Luigi now up on the sideline. Just telling his players to get back at this stage of the game. You feel like he definitely would take a 1-1. But there's still time to play here. And Andrea Zola has completely switched off. And how many times have we said Navas' name today? And Inter Milan keep the pressure alive. The ball is flicked on. And once again, the chance was fractions away. This time for Contreva. Real Madrid are living on the edge. This was, uh, I think Andrea Zola's just done. He's trying to keep pace, but he's completely knackered. 
Looks like he may be coming off. And he's also pulled a hamstring, so that's not good news for him. They should have took him off earlier. So Ogiezola will be replaced by Militao for the final few minutes. Well, Navas very well could be man of the match if it does stay this way. And we have three minutes left. He has made save after save. Some of them obviously a lot easier than others, but still, he's been very, very good between the sticks. As the ball's fed through. Good covering. Fed up the line. That's not the ball that Sun wanted. Not when the players are at this stage of the game. Fed through the middle. Here's a chance. Can they score it? Oh, Navas again. It's fed through once more. Oh, can you believe this? Inter Milan have stolen it. In the 90-plus minutes, it's Brozovic. It's been an onslaught in this second half. And you can't say they haven't deserved it. And the nightmare continues for Real Madrid. I mean, Navas, how many saves can he make? He can only make so many. He pushed that one away, but it came back in the mix. And it was Brozovic there who pounced. Ready to smash it in the far corner. And now the Italian side have a 2-1 lead, you feel, going into that second leg. Well, is that going to be it? Because we have got a couple of seconds to spare. And it just has not worked out for Real Madrid. But wait a minute. As the ball is put over the top, the referee does blow for full time. And it's a bit of a nightmare, isn't it? You lead 1-0 at half time. You can see two in the second half. And for Real Madrid, yes, they have the away goal. That's important. It was not a 2-0 win. It was a 2-1 win, but... Inter Milan, second half, played so much better. Man of the match was Handanovic, but Navas pulled off some blinding saves. Well, I don't know what's going on, ladies and gentlemen. I, I really don't know what is going on. It didn't help that half my team was completely knackered before the match, and you could tell that. You know, the, the team spirit wasn't up at the best. It wasn't 90-plus today. You know, Navas made tons of saves, yes. But at least we got the away goal. I'm still confident at home that we'll get the job done. But still, what is going on here? Huh? What is going on? This gameplay file is killing me. Anyway, Atletico Madrid won 2 0. Barca won 2 0. Inter obviously beat us 2 1. And City 0. PSG 0. But yeah, the board aren't going to be happy with that result. Especially when we're leading 1 0. It's a nice goal we scored as well. Nice bit of play. I don't know if I should go back to a 3 5 2. I seem to create so many more chances and defend better. I mean, two minds. Two, two minds. Anyway, we shall return for the match against Real Sociedad and then obviously Inter after that. I don't know. It's been a nightmare of a season, hasn't it? It really has. It's not gone the way I would have wanted it to, but. It is what it is. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. One day we'll maybe win a match. But until next time, uh, see you guys in the next one. Take care.